Okay, so this is the solution that we're going to use for exercise one. So I've placed the image on the right hand side here. I'm going to work in my zone on the left hand side. Just remember that this exercise is measured in centimeters, so you have two options here. You can go into units to start off with, and you can change to centimeters, or you can keep the scale in millimeters and just convert it. I'm just going to drop the position down to two. And I'm going to hit the OK button. So the first reference is I'm going to use my construction layers okay, um, on that one. And I'm going to do an X line from my 0, 0 point here. That's the first piece. Then I'm going to choose the Shift tab just to lock it to the 90 degree line. And I'm going to put another one on the horizontal line. So what we're going to do is split this shape into a uh, top view, a front view and a side view. So we're going to start to draw the top of the component which is going to be the rectangles, the slots and the circles. So I'm just going to put that to one side make it nice and big. Okay, so we're going to start off by using the offset tool. I'm going to offset 100mm which is that part there and I'm going to offset 60 So I'm just pressing escape and space to reload the previous command. So now what, what we're going to do is going to move everything so I can get it a bit closer. Okay, so now we're going to look at then doing this other zone with um, break it into the rectangles. So offset 30, so it gets off both left and right. And the last one is to bridge the gap, which is then 10. So just using escape space again, just to put the bridges in, like so. Just bring that a bit smaller again. And bring it down, so I can bring the zoom in, like so. Okay, so at this stage, you can either draw these under the drawing layer. Um, or you can start to offset the circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it nice and simple. I'm going to use another construction layer to make my circle guides. So this one's going to be uh, 15, 15, and then 30. Or oh, I could have done 15 from the top. So click those and change them to my another layer. And also going to offset. 15 and again just remembering where they are and changing them into my vision layer like so. So now I can draw the circles in my drawing tab. Okay, I'm going to click one so the diameter of um, 15 to so the seven and a half radius, like so. Now I just can use the copy tool, copy that one around the center point and I'm going to put it on my other three locations like so or you could have done it in half and mirrored it inside up to you. Last thing I'm going to do is going to come around now and just draw the component. So again just using the space bar to cancel and reload so just pressing it twice once to cancel, second one to reload. Okay, so that's our first view now done. The next view is going to look at this frontal section here. So I'm just going to do an offset again. I'm going to put an offset of um, 60 in, so I can just use the same snap tool twice. So 60 down and 60 across for my guidelines. Okay, and it's 40, so it's two lots of 20, so 40 coming down. So then in here will be my front zone and here will be my right, so which is another 60. So in here will be my side view. So we know it's 20, we can find the half. And then we know we've got a section of 10 up the top. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw my shape. Slightly missed that one, so I'm going to fix that later. Don't worry about it now. Okay, like so if you ever do that, all you can do is come in, 
move the line back by clicking on the uh, blue dots. Okay, and lastly then I can come in and I can draw around my side profile. Okay, lastly we've got a couple of hidden lines, so I'm going to choose my drawing layer hidden. Okay, so the hidden line will be that one there, which I can't see. So now I've got to put in my circles. So I'm going to offset this one 15. That one 15. I'm going to change this to my blue layer because they're associated with my circles. Okay, and what I need to do then is then do offset of 7.5 to so get the center lines in. So if you now look at the top, I've matched the blue lines with the circles, so I think that's correct. I'm going to come and draw my hidden detail now, like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Okay, I'm going to choose this base point here. Now when I come along, I can hit the base point there, and I can then hit the base point there, and I can hit the base point there. So it makes it a bit more efficient, I only need to do it once. That's going to do, just finish off the drawing, so I'm just going to turn my construction layers off. So now I've just got to put a drawing line in there. Okay, and that's my third angle projection, so now I have to turn the construction layer back on. Let's move that to my, I don't know, near zero. Um, so there we have, so we have our top view, okay, we have our front view, and our side. So the last thing I'm going to do is just put in some center marks. So I'm going to annotate center marks, click in my four, and then you could if you wanted to put a center line in. And I'm going to drag my center line down to the whole lot. Like so, so you know that is a line of symmetry on the centre. So, And that's just basically really quickly on how we walk through the first exercise nice and straightforward. So, don't forget now, at this point you then need to obviously save it and you start to then add the annotations in as well.